Electronica Veneta has developed a flat play collector trainer specifically designed for educational needs. The aim of the equipment is to perform experiments on the conversion of sunlight into thermal energy for domestic hot water production by means of two flat plate solar collectors of different kind. Let us first have a look at how the water is heated by the solar power. The energy of sunlight is exploited by the flat plate collectors to heat a fluid. A pump moves this heat transfer fluid into the collectors. Cold tap water is conveyed into a storage tank and it is heated up by the collector's hot fluid and then used as domestic hot water. In case of prolonged absence of sunshine, an electric heater can meet the domestic hot water demands. Let us now have a look at the main features of the equipment. This is the main unit, the hot water storage tank, that is best positioned indoor. This is the control panel of the unit and these are the different connections such as the domestic hot water outlet, the fittings to connect an optional unit for heating the water by means of an external heat source or the outlet and inlet connection to the collector array and the tap water inlet. Each connection is monitored by a counter or a meter. The operating diagram is always at hand for consultation. This is the outdoor flat plate collector array. It is mounted on wheels, so it can be easily taken outside. These are the temperature and solar radiation sensors. The orientation of the array can be adjusted according to the position of the sun. Well, that's it. For a better performance, we can also adjust the inclination of the array according to the height of the sun in the sky. Operating these valves, we can choose to use only one of the two available collectors. Ok, let us now power the system. This differential temperature controller will now operate the primary circuit pump. As we can notice from this counter, the system is now working. Different meters help us to monitor the temperature and pressure in key points of the circuit. Now, if we let the system work for a while, we can notice how the parameters change. For example, the storage tank water temperature initially was about 45 degrees Celsius, but now it has increased up to 65 degrees. In case of prolonged absence of sunshine, we can choose to heat the water by means of the built-in resistor or by an optional external unit operating the switches. And we can then adjust the temperature set point with this handle. The supplied portable thermometer with probes can be used to measure temperature in different key points of the equipment. We can also use a personal computer running Windows for the data acquisition and system supervision. Configuring the sensors. Analyzing the recorded data. Visualizing the key parameters real-time trend. Thanks for watching this video. If you need more information or equitation, please feel free to contact us.